Hello, Jane. I'm Matt from Crime Watch Daily. We'll call her Jane Doe, a woman who's now frightened to reveal her identity after bringing down one of the most recognisable faces in America. I want this to be the only time that I come forward and say anything. I just wanted to get my, my version of what happened. I'm glad that I came forward and said something because I feel like I did something that any normal person should do. Jane exposed Subway's superhero as a super sicko. Jared went from a 400 pound college kid with a 62 inch waistline to the perfect fit for Subway. And as a pitch man, fattened his bank account to an estimated 15 million bucks. He even started a charity, the Jared Foundation, and put his best friend, Russell Taylor, in charge. Jane Doe and Taylor had been acquaintances who struck up a texting friendship. But the innocent messages soon evolved into flirtatious invitations involving Jane and Taylor's wife. I just assumed that it was just him sending drunken text messages and it wasn't anything serious. I blew him off. But the invites grew more bizarre. It started out as he wanted to know if him and a female friend could come over to engage in sexual acts with my horses that I had at my property. I didn't take him seriously at first. But the text soon included graphic images and Jane knew this was no joke. That's when I realized that I needed to ask the police for guidance. As shocking and vile as those exchanges were, everything changed when Jane Doe received a text that simply went too far, and it would prove to be the first domino in Fogel's downfall. He had asked if I wanted to see any pictures of young girls. I wasn't expecting him to offer child pornography, but he opened up a completely different avenue. The subway guy's appetite was no longer satisfied with merely looking at pictures. Police learned he visited the Plaza Hotel in Manhattan and arranged for sex with minors. He was quoted as saying, the younger the better. On one occasion, Russell had sent me a picture of him and Jared together on a plane. It's very concerning because he said that he was on a business trip to New York when he had taken the picture. Does that disturb you now, the idea that Taylor might have been talking to Fogel about you? Looking back now, it, it almost seems like he was trying to be a predator and groom me. Armed with evidence gathered from Jane's cooperation, police descended on Russell Taylor's home where they uncovered something even more twisted. Not only did they find more than 400 child pornography videos and photos, many of them were sexually explicit images of Taylor's very own stepchildren, shot on cameras he'd hidden in their bedrooms and bathrooms. Meanwhile, the FBI's raid of Jared's Indianapolis mansion produced still more evidence. It was a complete shock to me, as it probably was to the rest of the world, that Jared was involved in something like this. Taylor pled guilty and promptly made a failed suicide attempt while in custody. The fallen subway guy also sought swift justice, accepting a plea bargain. This is about using wealth, status and secrecy to illegally exploit children. So the man who once had it all, power, fame, celebrity and influence, is now holed up here in his parents' house, in this, the wealthy north side of Indianapolis. He's now just another sexual predator awaiting sentencing. To my surprise, Jared actually started to open the door. Mr. Fogel, it's Matt Doran here. I'm just from Crime Watch Daily. I'm wondering if we could have a quick word, please? But our camera spooked Jared, who then sent his own mother to shoo us away. Hello, ma'am. Could we just have a really quick word? My name's Matt. I'm from Crime Watch Daily. Is the, we couldn't have a really quick word with Jared. We just want to ask him about the case. Could you just tell us, ma'am, or, or Jared, you're there, you're behind the door. Could you tell us, do you regret what you did, or do you just regret being caught? Mr. Fogel? Fogel faces up to 12 and a half years in federal prison for his crimes and is ordered to pay $1.4 million in restitution to his victims. If not for Jane's actions, he might still be the face of a franchise and caring for children in public while preying upon them in private. How did you feel knowing that 
a phone call and a decision that you took played a key role in helping to effectively save those children from further victimisation. I'm glad that I was able to stop it, but I also feel horrible that they were being victimised.